These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hey, happy Saturday to you. I'm Amelia Fabiana with your top stories here from ABC 15 Arizona and the state of education right now. During COVID, learning online was the only option for so many students, but now some of those online schools are closing down or downsizing. Enrollment for online public schools has drastically decreased in the last two years. At the height of COVID, nearly 66,000 students were enrolled in online schools. Last school year, that number was at more than 24,000. The Phoenix Elementary School District District will close down its I Academy at the end of this school year with only 17 students still currently getting their education that way. The need for an online school isn't as great as it was at that point in time. However, we have the tools now and the flexibility that we can do more hybrid learning when necessary. The Kyrene Elementary School District is downsizing its online school as well. It'll only offer it for its middle school students next school year. The fire that destroyed some buildings in Bisbee has an update here for you. The main street through Bisbee's historic district now open to cars in the eastbound lanes after that fire. Last month, the building's historic brick walls were partially taken down after inspections found that brick was unstable from the fire. Now, ABC 15 learning the buildings will be turned over to owners and the city will help with grants. But there's no time frame yet for when that could happen or when rebuilding can begin. Providing a beacon of light and electricity this weekend, Salt River Project will send crews on a project called Light Up Navajo. Crews from 17 states coming together for two weeks to address a problem impacting the Navajo Nation, the lack of electricity. Crews are taking action. They left from Tempe to begin setting miles of wooden poles to connect the homes on the power grid there. Keeping Arizona from running dry now, more federal dollars are heading to our state to combat drought in two areas, Topak Marsh and the Yuma East Wetlands. The wetlands will use $5 million for infrastructure upgrades to help preserve the marsh for future generations. Another $20 million is headed to Topak Marsh in the Havasu National Wildlife Refuge. It'll be used for various projects there, including building a new water control structure. It went to a big fire. It took the fire department a good 20 minutes to put it out completely. Dean shared his story with us last November, driving around when his 2012 Kia Sorento suddenly wouldn't stop. Then... Flames coming out from underneath the hood. And the next thing you know, it blows both front tires, the front windshield, and it was completely on fire. Kia agreed to a class action lawsuit settlement to resolve claims that some of its vehicles suffer from engine defects. That lawsuit claims the issue is with the engines connecting rod bearings. They can fail, causing engine seizure, stalling, failure, and even in some cases, engine fires, all of which may not be covered by warranty. I would think Kia should have some responsibility. Kia hasn't admitted to any wrongdoing, but agreed to pay an undisclosed sum of money to resolve the class action lawsuit. Vehicle owners who file can receive out-of-pocket expense reimbursement, compensation for trade-ins and sales, compensation for total vehicle losses, as well as warranty extensions. The deadline to submit a claim for most benefits is April 5th. We put all of the information you need online at abc15.com slash consumer, including who qualifies and how to file. I'm Christelle Bell. If you have a consumer problem, let ABC 15 know. Happy Saturday and welcome to Final Four weekend here in the Valley. Here's a check of that most accurate forecast. We're only going to warm up into the upper 60s today, only hitting the 60s by around lunchtime. Tomorrow, though, a little bit warmer in the mid 70s. Allergies might be acting up. We're at a medium high pollen count today with mulberry, juniper and ash being those main allergens. Air quality in the moderate range. We'll see an afternoon ozone spike and that UV index is at a 7 for today at its peak later this afternoon. So high for today, 30 minutes until sunburn time. Today, we'll see a high of 56 in Sedona, 42 in Flagstaff, 56 in Globe, 71 in Lake Havasu City, and overnight tonight, we'll drop down into the 30s along the rim in Window Rock, teens in Flagstaff, 20s at the Grand Canyon, upper 20s in Payson and Prescott, 33 overnight in Sedona. But we're warming up from here, mid-70s tomorrow and Monday, a bit breezy on Monday too, 80s by Tuesday, and 95 degrees next Friday to end the work week. All right, for the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download that free ABC 15 mobile app. Have a great Saturday. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.